We have a 24 valve 5.9 liter Cummins. We're gonna go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. Before beginning the repair, disconnect the negative battery cable on both batteries. Remove the accessory drive belt. Inspect the drive belt, making sure it's not damaged in any way that would hinder its reuse. Remove the two retaining bolts. Before starting your repair, you always wanna be sure you're working with a cool engine. And remove the pump from the vehicle. Keep in mind there may be some residual coolant. Be sure and capture and dispose of properly. Thoroughly clean the water pump gasket surface, making sure to not allow any debris into the water jacket area. To ease an installation, use a small amount of sealer to hold the gasket in place. Install the water pump and torque the retaining bolts to 18 foot-pounds. Install the drive belt, making sure the belt tensioner is within operating specs. Reconnect both negative battery cables. Fill the system with a 50-50 blend of coolant and distilled water. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Start the vehicle and turn the cabin heater on high. This will help bleed the air out of the system. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature and check for leaks. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Top the recovery tank off to manufacturer specs. 